Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the Makeup Forever HD Foundation in the shade 173. I posted a question on my Facebook fan page asking you guys which foundation or tinted moisturizer you would like me to review and many of you requested um, for the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. So I've been actually wanting to get this foundation for a while. However, I've, I have been reading reviews and it has been like a mixed feeling. And moreover, since I was living in Sweden, I wasn't able to get the Makeup uh, Forever products there. So I had to wait until I came to Hong Kong. So here in Hong Kong, we have a couple of, uh, there are a couple of counters and I have one which is just one uh, MTR station away. So that's quite good. So when I went to the store, I did try out the 170 and 173. I felt that the shade number 170 was uh, leaning towards the pink undertone. So it wasn't really a good match for my skin. In terms of coverage, this foundation is going to give you a medium to full. It all depends on how many layers of foundation you're going to be applying on your face. Like for me, I don't have that many, uh, you know, skin issues to cover. I have some darkness underneath my eye and also darkness around my mouth and also my jaw and some very light blemishes on my cheek. So I did use this foundation to cover that and it does a fairly good job. I didn't like about this foundation that it did settle or sit on my uh, you know smile line so after a while you can see that you have applied foundation so that's not a good thing because um, you're not going to be going around like this all the time so you can see that you have applied foundation other than that it does sit on the skin quite okay it doesn't feel like you have foundation on like heavy caked on makeup so that's a good thing because with majority of my other foundation if i have two or more layers on i feel like i have foundation on and i don't like that feeling in terms of longevity, um, I would definitely not recommend this foundation for someone who has oily or oily combination skin. Uh, reason being, as soon as you apply this foundation, just, just let alone this foundation without any primer, it's just going to be an oily mess. It's probably going to exaggerate the oiliness that you already have. If you have dewy skin, it's going to show as it's very oily so uh, it's not for someone who has uh, as i mentioned you know oily skin now if you want to make this foundation work you will have to apply a primer and usually i go for the uh, makeup forever hd i mean sorry all matte primer and uh, this really works wonders whether i would buy this foundation again after i'm out of this i don't think so uh, reason being it's not a foundation that I would uh, reach out for um, because it doesn't stay on my skin that well. Um, my, this is going to be a foundation that you would want to wear when you are taking photos. If you are doing YouTube videos or if you are a, a blogger where you are going to take flash photography and uh, you know of yourself, this is going to be a foundation for that purpose. Or if you are a makeup artist who is going to be doing you know, photo shoots for your clients then this foundation is going to work but make sure to set your foundation with a good loose translucent powder this costed me 420 hong kong dollars however i did get a makeup artist discount so uh, i don't know you know for that price i expected more but uh, then again i think i would only use this when i'm doing um you know youtube videos where i'm going to be taking uh pip, you know flash photography other than that i don't think so i'm going to be used this I'm going to be using this as my daily foundation if you would like to see full detailed review and also you know before and after pictures please go to my blog and i will have everything there so thank you so much for watching and i hope you found this review useful i'll see you guys soon in my next video bye